I did 50 oblique crunches a day for a week. What happened it seems there's a new trend in fitness, which involves completely neglecting your oblique muscles. We all remember those terrible biology lessons that we took in primary school. Your obliques are the muscles that move the lower back and neck up into your stomach. You have internal and external oblique muscles that work together to support your spine and support your abdominal muscles. As a runner, having a strong core is important to me in order to keep running strong and efficiently. When you're running, your oblique muscles control the way your upper body and torso turn, which in turn helps you to keep your upper and lower body aligned when you move. When I came home from work, I decided to strengthen my obliques by doing 50 oblique crunches each day for a week. Read on to find out what I did. You can do 100 repetitions of nearly any exercise. It's awfully hard to complete all the exercises you've tried. What worked for me may not work for you. If you are new to exercising, or if you are returning to exercise after an injury, it's worth getting a personal trainer to check your form before increasing the number of reps you do. You can find more workout ideas on my fitness blog. This is how I felt the day I tried lifting weights, for a total of 600 reps, resistance bands to help you hold your position. Chris Hemsworth gives us the ultimate Thor workout using a giant resistance band. I added 100 dead bugs to my exercise routine for one week. How do you do oblique crunches? How to do oblique crunches? Start by lying on your back, knees bent, and your feet pointing straight down. Put your hands behind your head to support your neck while you do oblique crunches. Here's what happened. Lie on your back, with your knees bent to your chest, and put both of your legs together to rest comfortably. Activate your core muscles by firmly pressing your abdominals to lift your torso up towards the ceiling. You should feel your obliques contracting on the right side of your stomach. Once you've completed your set, slide your legs up to the right side. And then do another set. You should feel something happen on the left side of your abdomen. Remember, you are working your core muscles, don't use your hands to pull up your head and neck. If this exercise becomes too intense, keep your feet flat on the floor and extend your arms in front of you. If the exercise is too intense, lower your arms to the right side of your body and continue to push upwards. When you've done all your repetitions, drop your arms back to the left side of your body. Repeat on the right side. I did 50 oblique crunches each day. Here's what happened. I started by doing 50 oblique crunches, one on each side, every day for a week. Sometimes, it's the little things that look easy that really cause you to burn the most calories. This is the case with oblique crunches. 20 reps in, I realized that doing this exercise would torch my abs, and I wasn't wrong. When you do an oblique crunch, Make sure that you keep doing it slowly and controlled to ensure that you do what's right. If you do it too quickly, your muscles won't be strong enough to target your ABS. It took me two sets of 25 reps to accomplish this exercise. I took short breaks during the intervals so that I could focus on my form and not try to rush through the exercise. I'm not going to name any names, but fitness influencers have said that doing oblique exercises will cause you to look very boxy. They say that the key to an hourglass figure is to ignore your obliques. Lucy Gornall, a personal trainer who also does strength training, told us that this is strange in her eyes, as it's a well-rounded workout. As the week went by, I found doing this exercise was getting a little easier, but it became a lot more boring. I carried out a few oblique V-ups on the final day of the challenge, and they really tore my core. I also worked the sides of my body hard. You can do an oblique V-up by lying on your back and placing your legs across each other and tucking your knees under your ears while you hold your arms up and do a squat. Put your bottom arm on the floor, with your arm extended over your head, and place your top arm behind your head. If you have super